Hi, this is a short tutorial on Ikapata Bay Kasana, one leg frog pose or prone quadricep stretch. For a lot of folks, this is also a big movement for your shoulder. And so I'm gonna give you a little tip about how to set yourself up well. One thing to keep in mind is we've got four quadricep muscles, they cross the knee joint. One of those muscles, the rectus femoris, crosses the knee and the hip joint. So what we're going to do is take some of the strain or the demand out of the rectus femoris at first to see if we can get the knee joint flexed fully, which will help get your hand to turn. And then we'll go back and open and extend the front of the hip. That's it in a nutshell, but here's how it looks when you do it <laughs> in the posture. First is support yourself with your bottom forearm and lift up high. That's going to help. When you set yourself up into position, start with your thumb up, keep it up. Bring it out to the side and keeping your thumb up, hop over to the inside arch of your foot. A lot of those of you who teach, you'll see your students get set up and when they get back here, they've turned their hand and this is going to be a no-go and a pretty tough position for the arm. So that hitchhiking thumb, hopping over the foot, that's a great way to help. Now here's the part about the rectus femoris. Press your bottom of your thigh down and take the top of your thigh back. And that's going to slack some of the tension out of the rectus femoris at the hip joint. Then bend your elbow out to the side. Bring the heel of your hand to the top of your foot to bring the heel of your foot close into your hip. That's the key. Keeping that, move your shoulder way back, bend your elbow out, and now turn your forearm. Last piece is to lower your hips, and now you extend the hip more fully. All right, that's a lot of information, but each one of those things helps a lot. You can see it here on the other side. Push down strongly through your bottom arm. Thumb up and back. Key piece, bend both elbows. Then press your knee down, take the top of your thigh back, bring your heel to your hip and slide the heel of your hand around the top of your foot. This part is where most people get stuck. If they're elbow is into the waistline, you can't turn your hand. So wide elbow, big shoulder back, and now you can rotate your forearm and wrap your hands around the top of your foot, then lower your hips. Until your heel is close into your hip, it's going to be hard to get your hand to turn around your foot. So what we're doing in this little approach is to take some of the strain out of the rectus femoris to get as much of your flexion out of your knee as you can, to get your heel as close to your hip as you can, so there's less strain in your shoulder so that you can turn your arm. And maybe today, but maybe this approach um, will yield results if you practice it regularly. Maybe not today. Sometimes breakthroughs happen. Sometimes it's really more of a slogging through the work kind of effort. All right, hope that helps you. Let me know how it goes. Namaste.